I wonder how this could be so mysterious and amazing. Hmm. If I want to get to this planet... <laughs> Dado, I'll be right back. You'd better be a good boy and stay quiet. Don't touch the space capsule like you did before. Yeah, Doctor. machine will enable you to travel around the virtual space. Once you're connected, a space tour guide robot will kindly guide you to the space. Very convenient, but it is not completed yet, so you should never touch this machine! around the sun? Wow! Noro, that's right! You're so smart! Okay then, let's have a look at the solar system. <laughs> wow! There are so many things orbiting the sun. Yeah! We have eight planets, and the Earth is the third planet orbiting the sun. There are planets countless moons and comets. The solar system refers to the sun and all those celestial objects that go around it. Oh, then Rami, what are the other planets in the solar system? <laughs> well, I'll tell you one by one. The nearest planet to the sun is Mercury. Ah, ha! 
It's Mercury! Mercury was named after the messenger of the gods in Roman myth. Oh. When one side of this planet is daytime, the temperature rises as high as 430 degrees Celsius. While on the dark side, the temperature falls to 170 degrees Celsius below zero. It's impossible to live on this planet. Oh. Let's have a closer look at Mercury. Whoa! I can't see anything on it! <laughs> We can't breathe on Mercury because there's no atmosphere. This is why there can't be any living creatures. Oh. Then, shall we move on to Venus? Ah. Oh. We call it Venus after the goddess of beauty in Roman myth. Oh, ho, Venus! <laughs> the surface of Venus mainly consists of basalt-like rocks made of lava. It's a dangerous planet with a temperature of 460 degrees Celsius. Oh! The goddess of beauty, yet scary! Oh, oh. Next, the Earth. Oh. <laughs> Abundant water and air. The Earth is the oasis of the universe. Oh, there goes the Earth's only satellite, the Moon. Remy, what's next? It's Mars. Ah. The planet is named after the god of war, Mars. It's a red desert planet. Oh, hmm. It looks familiar. That's because the surface of Mars is similar to the Earth's desert. Let's have a closer look. You're right! Wow, it looks like a desert in Earth. The length of a day in Mars is almost the same as that in the Earth. We can spot some valleys that may have been flooded with water in the past. Well, let's go to Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest and heaviest one among the eight planets. It's 11 times bigger than the Earth. Whoa. It's very luminous because it reflects the sunbeam very well. It's named after the king of Roman gods, Jupiter. Wow, amazing stripes! <laughs> Jupiter is a massive, gaseous planet. <laughs> then, let's move on to Saturn. Go, go! <laughs> go, go! Wow! Look at the beautiful ring! <laughs> so beautiful, isn't it? The ring consists of thousands of thinner rings. The whole width of the ring is twice wider than the diameter of Saturn. Wow. The rings look beautiful because there are light reflecting ice crystals in the rings. I see. Ah. Then, shall we move on to Uranus? Uh huh. Uranus has an axial tilt of 97 degrees, so it rotates almost parallel with the plane of the solar system. Wow. The north and south poles always head toward the sun or the Earth. Okay, off we go to Neptune. Wow, it looks like a blue pearl. <laughs> yeah, Neptune is frozen because it's too far from the sun. Wow, Rami, are there no living creatures in any planets other than the Earth? Mm, yes, the planets close to the sun are too hot, and the planets far from the sun are too cold to live on. I got it. <laughs> now I know that all the planets orbit around the sun. <laughs> yeah, we say they revolve. And the Earth rotates on its own axis once in a day. Where the sun shines on becomes daytime. Where the sun doesn't becomes nighttime. Oh, now I got it. <laughs> That's how the sun rises and sets. <laughs> right. Let's get closer to the sun. Good idea, Rami. Yippee! <laughs> wow. The round sun.
sun has risen high. <laughs> Ta-da! You might hurt your eyes if you see the sun with naked eyes in the real world. But it's all right now because we're in the virtual world. Wow! It's really the sun! How old is it? How large? How hot? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, it's almost 4.6 billion years old. It's wow. 109 times bigger than the Earth. It's about 6,000 degrees Celsius on the surface and 15 million degrees Celsius in the core. Oh my god! Is it that hot? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Rami, can you show me how the sun was formed? Of course. Then I'll explain ah. with the next picture. That is the formation of the sun. Red, blazing gases oh. and dust floating around the universe gathered together to form an enormous mass. Wow. The density and pressure got higher and higher. The temperature also increased. Finally, it started to glow with burning fire. Wow! So that's how the sun was born. <laughs> oh, 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 Rami, what's the sound? Uh, something's wrong. <gasps> Naru, it's already been an hour. It's time to go back. Uh, already? Oh, I want to see more! No, you might not be able to go back forever if we're disconnected to the real world. Uh, yeah. You can come again next time. I'll show you galaxies, nebula, and star clusters. <laughs> really? You promise, Rami? <laughs> <laughs> I promise. See you later, Naro. <laughs> Goodbye, Rami! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.